Everybody, a private jet has crashed right into a mountain and our mission today is to find out why it crashed. Everybody, yes, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we're going to finally play the game Plane Accident again, where our mission is to become an inspector examining causes of airplane crashes. Today, we're going to jump into the role of what, you know, the USA calls the NTSB. Captain Sum Ting Wong. Where we're supposed to investigate a plane crash to find out the cause of it, perhaps to prevent such accidents from happening in the future, or to find out, is the plane crash part of more of a crime? Was there sabotage involved? Let's maybe read into the story of this jet right here. Everybody, bad news. In the Eagle Peaks mountain range, a plane belonging to Vladimir Bulhat, a suspected Russian businessman, crashed. On board were two individuals, pilot Oleg Zudatov, and passenger Dr. James Horner, who was on vacation with his family. Due to the need for an immediate operation, the Russian businessman sent his private jet to retrieve the doctor. During the return flight, the pilot landed at Wilford Airport. He quickly took off again and encountered a snowstorm over Eagle Peaks Mountains. He reported problems to air traffic control, but due to the weather conditions, the information was barely audible. Radio contact was lost, and a few moments later, the aircraft automatically automatically transmitted a mayday signal. Medical services found Dr. Horner alive, but his condition was critical. Unfortunately, the pilot did not survive the crash. All right, we're starting off here in the mountains and our beloved truck right here. It is very much snowing. Let's go ahead and take her backpack, you know, to investigate properly. Yes, this is quite a survival. Oh, and this is actually a sports pickup. This is the new 2022 GMC Sierra Denali Ultimate. Let's maybe go ahead and try to find the wreckage now here on this mountain. Uh, come on. Oh, and here it is. The crashed jet airplane. Let's go ahead and mark down the crash site right here so that we can start investigating further. All right, come on. I'll, yeah, let's go ahead and secure the wreckage indeed. Come on, we have to get past. Yes, it is quite stormy. Can't we just wait until the storm calms down, actually? I think that will make it a little bit easier. Time to secure the evidence now, you know, pick up things that give us information. For example, this is the flight data recorder. You know, something that this airplane definitely has. Let's maybe check out the cabin right here where we can't see much. We can't see much. Um, now, what, what's this private jet trying to be? Probably, probably like a Citation XLS, something like that. The, the cockpit surely is in a very, very bad state. No wonder the pilot did not make it here. All right, what else is there in terms of evidence? This one right here. This is also a piece of evidence. Here is the APU. To be actually fair, though, the airplane is actually in quite a good shape for having crashed into this, you know, very steep mountain. Normally, this looks a lot uglier. Let's be honest. I don't know. I mean, the whole realism of this game is interesting okay here's another piece of the fuselage here with a window cut out yep there we go that's also secured this is very important we kind of now have to decide what to bring to the hangar that's what you always do there you go here's another piece of the fuselage here is another piece of the airplane can't really decipher what that is here we have a map here that i've scanned with my drone here we can see more stuff that the drone thinks is part of the airplane so like these circles here maybe check that out mm -hmm. this is definitely another part of the fuselage mark that down oh that is not a very good pole placement here okay this is another part of the fuselage Let's go ahead and prepare some photographic documentation with a camera here we have highlighted the spots we're supposed to be photographing the plane from okay check this out the tail section good now here we can get real close the deployed landing gear we can see okay all right one more photo and now we can order the wreckage to be picked up by mr wolf perfect mission accomplished here we go here's mr wolf i have no idea how that van is able to move so well and snow and also i have no idea how he's gonna fit that entire airplane inside of this thing anyway yes welcome to the 
hangar now. And once again, this is quite realistic. Aircraft investigators around the world do this all the time where they would gather evidence in a hangar. Take a look at this super destroyed cockpit. Jesus. All right. Does that look like an airworthy uh, Cessna citation jet? No. Let me go ahead and read the case's documents now in our little bureau. Case file. Place of incident. Eagle Peak Mountain. Type of aircraft. Lower Jet 86. That's great. All right. Here we already know what was going on. During the flight over the Eagle Peak Mountains, the aircraft reported malfunctions. Okay. But due to severe weather conditions and a strong accent, the control tower couldn't understand the nature of the problem. Shortly afterward, the aircraft disappeared from radar. Search and rescue operation, blah, blah, blah. Note, this aircraft was never put into serial production. Many of the aircraft systems might have had unique and untested solutions. So yes, everybody, once again, I am an airplane professional. So let me uh, go ahead and do some uh, thesis as really. I mean, pilot reported some malfunctioning systems and of course, bad weather. Um, you know, bad weather normally is a, is a great way to crash an airplane. Although not a jet. I mean, in a normal working jet, you would just overfly the weather and you wouldn't just crash into a mountain. Do you know what I mean? Maybe this experimental jet aircraft had problems and that caused the crash. Let me go ahead and check the technical locks, see if everything's done well. Okay, machine inspection with engine oil, cooling system, brake system, GPS. Okay, no additional defects. That's good. That was the latest technical inspection. Okay, some replacement, some of that. All right. Let's maybe call Boris, who was the person who fixed the airplane. Okay, let's go ahead and call mechanic Boris. Boris, would he look trustable to uh, to fix your airplane? It's a shame about Oleg. He was a good guy. I know there was an issue with the de-icing system. All right, the plane crashed probably due to icing, isn't it? That's a good way to bring down an airplane. I managed to fix it, but it was temporarily... Okay. The whole system needed to be replaced. It's just that there was never time to do it because the boss had to keep flying all the time. All right. Yes, everybody. The anti-icing system on such a jet airplane supposed to warm up the wings so that there's no ice that builds up on it. And if it does, the airplane very quickly loses airplaneage. And... I stop. No stop. Let me go ahead and see. Pick up this. We've got some evidence. Failure of the anti-icing system. All right, let me check out what the witnesses say. Liberty Medical Center. Dr. Horner arrived in critically hypothermic state. Okay, that's not very good. Let's maybe see what Officer Anderson says. We started the plane belonged to the shady blah, blah, blah. But it's already what we know. Let's pilot us by. All right, so we've got some shady people here. It's worth asking the FBI if they know anything more. Okay, let's maybe do call FBI agent. He had numerous connections with the mafia. It cannot be ruled out that this was an unsuccessful attempt on his life. So they assumed that he was on board and he was targeted uh, for an assassination. Let's maybe call uh, the crash victim's wife. Bulat has been uh, his patient for a long time, neurosurgeon. I told him not to get involved with that Russian thong. Fuck. He was tempted by the money. I'm sure someone wanted my husband not to make it to the surgery. Oh my God. I hope James will be okay. He's going to be okay. Maybe he doesn't want to be okay with you. All right, let's maybe go ahead and... Um, all right, there you go. So, assassination question mark or failure of the anti-icing system question mark. Also, what's this? Doctor in a coma. And who's this? Assassination. Okay. So, let me also check out the uh, pilot flight log right here. Blah, blah, blah. This is good. That's what we already know. Heavy snowfall. Something seemed to be wrong with the aircraft. I will describe it in detail after landing in LA. Oh, wow. That's aged well. You've already died. You can't really now describe it. Okay. That's the other stuff. He needs to hurry. So, lots of hurry uh, in this flight operation. That's how very quickly things can get wrong in general aviation. Okay. Let's let me see. All right. Uh, blah, blah, blah. Let's check that. All right. And the photo evidence is, of course, the photos that we took. But we're supposed to check them. That's good. That's a great shot, too. You know, I'm an airplane spotter. After all, this is perfect. All right. Let me go ahead and now um, reassemble the airplane here. So reconstruct the wreckage of the airplane covering placement. I wouldn't have any idea where that goes. Luckily, the game actually tells us. All right. Yeah. Part of the fuselage that broke in half. Come on. Let's screw it back in. Yes. Perfect. Cover element of something oh, down there okay perfect this is a part of the fuselage here that's good here's another part of the fuselage perfect put that on yes yes uh, i'm making this airplane airworthy by now take a look at this perfect yes would you see this good all right now that we've done that it's time to now inspect the airplane 
We can make scans of it here with our drone again. We can maybe check for explosive. You know, I don't know if that makes a lot of sense. This doesn't look like anything could have exploded or like there was a bomb on board. That'll be too easy. Yes. Wow, that's very sophisticated. I don't think they would do that. All right. Scan conducted correctly. And it's getting more and more realistic. Scan in search for ice. Um, I don't know if you could scan for ice after the airplane had crashed and had been here in the hangar for hours. That is very unrealistic. Okay, let's maybe see uh, what the results are. All right. The icing scanner says that it uh, indicated a possible defect in the anti-icing system in the left wing. Recommendation, the icing system should be sent for further laboratory test. To, all right, let's do that. Now, in terms of explosives, there was no traces of explosive materials. That's good. So, yes, everybody, the airplane had some irregularities in its anti-icing system, which, especially in that kind of weather as well, flying through clouds can end very badly. It's probably the anti-icing system anyway. We should definitely send that in. But first of all, let me go ahead and check this flight data recorder, which we can, uh, I think think investigate here at the black box station okay let's have a bit of a look right here adjust the frequencies flight tower this is flight number we're flying over eagle peak mountains conditions are very difficult i think we have a problem with all right, that's not very helpful. Thank you very much. That was a very professional ATC. Also, Flight Data Recorder doesn't rec really only record what messages you sent to the ATC. That's a bit weird. Anyway, let's check this right here. The recording data is damaged from the pri fragments of this recording can be heard that the pilot had some problem, but it's very unknown. Sent the recording to the sound re reconstruction studio for an attempt to decode the unclear fragment. Let's do that. I mean, the flight data recorder in real life also collects data of the systems and also which systems are inoperative. This thing should actually just tell us already if the anti-icing was wrong. Anyway, let's go ahead and send this right here. Very professional email. Hello, I'm sending the damage recording from the black box. You know what I'm talking about, the black box. Let me call the witnesses. Who else do we have to call? All right, Wilford Airport. I remember their stay precisely. The pilot was nervous, refueled quickly in a rush. He didn't want to de-ice the plane beforehand, before even flying. Oh, wow. Although it would have been useful, I'm not sure if he filled the tanks completely. All right. So there's like also this option right here that the plane might have run out of fuel. So the story kind of folds. Let's maybe go and check out our fuel probe right here. Uh, maybe see if we can get some fuel out of those wings. I mean, something I completely forgot about was, well, the airplane after the crash didn't catch fire at all. Take a look at those wings, which are normally filled with fuel. They didn't catch fire. All right, there was... Never mind, there is fuel. All right, okay. All right, fuel level normal. That's weird. Well, now it's time to send the anti-icing system in for some sort of examination. Uh, it was the left wing, right? Can we remove the cover here? Uh, I think. Here is the anti-icing system. It's supposed to heat up the wing, indeed. That's what that looks like. Okay. Let's maybe put it in a box. Yeah, there you go. We can put it in a box and send it away with DHL and hope that it arri uh, you know, arrives. Come on. Yes. Bye-bye, anti-icing system. See if it worked. Oh. But first of all, we have an email from the medical center. Uh, our crash victim who survived is back in consciousness. Let's go ahead and call him. That's good. Come on, let's do it. Hello, Sir Horner. Hello, I don't remember much. I went to sleep. Uh, but the only thing I can remember is that the, it was terribly cold in the cabin as well. All right, no air conditioning. It's a bit weird. Maybe the bleeder system was completely broken as well. All right, anyway, the DHL is back with our anti-icing system. Okay, let's go ahead and put this down. Yes, meanwhile, we have received an email, Aviation Mechanics Institutes. The results of the detailed examinations have shown a malfunction in the anti-icing system of the left wing. As a result, the system was operating at approximately 70 to 80% of its normal capacity. However, such damage is not the main cause of the accident. Oh, thank you very much. Let me see what the sound reconstruction studio says. We've successfully decoded the black box recording. Due to reasons yet unknown, the temperature in the cabin dropped to minus 8 degrees Celsius. 
The pilot curses due to the cold, but his speech becomes increasingly unclear and faint as if he's falling asleep. So we have a failed heating system in the aircraft. All right, so hold on. First of all, the anti-icing system is okay. The airplane did not explode and also the fuel was good. So the anti-icing system wasn't bad after all, but rather the pilots fell asleep because of the heating system. That was apparently broken, which is a, a weird. Is this a Helios flight classic? Let's maybe see. Mm -hmm. Here in the cockpit, there should be the heating. Well, that's just the heating panel right here. Interesting. All right. Um, I guess let's uh, send that in for investigation. Although probably that won't give us much clue about the heating system. According to a conducted research, the heating system had been malfunctioning for over six months. The temperature in the cabin dropped below zero without proper clothing. Prolonged stay in the cabin posed a risk of hypothermia. That's probably what happened is we're checking the flight logbook to see whether that's happened before. Uh, okay. Interestingly enough, he didn't say that. Everything is fine with aircraft. Nothing to worry about. Plane is in good condition. No reporting heated system malfunction. Maybe it's just the Russians who don't care either. Let's maybe call the mechanic about the heating system. Mechanic bodies. The heating system wasn't working. Oleg didn't tell me anything about it. It's not a system that needs regular checks. Since the pilots didn't mention anything, I didn't expect it. Let me check this book. Vladimir only flew short distances. The flight lasts about 20 minutes. Kind of like Taylor Swift. Neither the pilot nor the passengers had time to freeze before landing. That's why nobody... Okay, that's interesting. I don't think that makes a lot of sense. I mean, okay, flying in California somewhere where it never really gets cold. But still, climbing up to altitude, you very quickly realize that it gets cold indeed. Uh, all right, so that's the cause of the accident. That's it? Yes. After the investigation, the most likely cause of the accident was the pilot falling asleep at the controls. Such a consequence of events is suggested by the black box recording. The reason for falling asleep was the melt functioning of the pilot's cabin heating system. The temperature dropped to minus 8 degrees Celsius, causing the pilot to die. Okay, okay, good. So that is airplane crash investigation. That actually took very short time. Definitely not a bad game. Probably not made by pilots, though. But sure is a lot of fun. They have to come up with more missions as well in the future. But I definitely do recommend it. So thank you guys so much for watching this video. I'll see you guys in the next one as always. Good night. And a special thanks goes out to my members, my supporters. <laughs> Guns Killer, R27, James Duram, That Dude, Anime Gods of Gaming, Derek, Insider Plane, Nishititsu Finer, Professional Jamal, Ryland Williams, and New the York. You've got beautiful names.